are you like me and quite frustrated at the fact that there are many features that 3D VTubers cannot quite reach that 2D VTubers have easy access to, including some simple highlight jiggles and eye wobble effects? Today, I'm going to show you how you can achieve yet another feature that so far has only been available for 2D VTubers. Hi hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new tutorial. So, a couple of weeks ago, I did a tutorial showing how to do highlight jiggle for your avatar's eyes. Now, a couple of weeks later, that tutorial is already completely outdated because Vinyan just got a new feature today, which is called Pendulum Physics. If you have ever touched Live 2D, that feature may be already very familiar to you. So today we're going to look into the pendulum physics and how to use them to create eye wobble. You can also use this to create any kind of wobble of your arms, kind of like arm sway when moving, etc. So for this tutorial, as always, you will need Vinyan. And then you're going to have to add some shape keys to your avatar. However, I have also added some example HANA tool data for Vroid avatars that you can use. It's in the description down below. The first thing you will need to do is make sure that your model has enough shape keys. So today we will be using these specific shape keys that I'm going to show momentarily. You can use more, you can use less. It's completely up to you. The only thing you will need to remember is that you will need shape keys for both directions, for every single movement. So first of all, here we have eye right tall, which basically makes your eye kind of like tall. And then we have the countering shape key, which makes the eye kind of like short. So for every direction, you will need two shape keys in this similar manner. Now in the same way, we have like a thick eye that makes the eye thicker and to counter that, we have one that makes the eye thin. Now, in addition to this, that changed the whole iris, including the highlight. I have also added specific highlight shape keys here. One that just makes the highlight kind of spread out like this. And then, of course, to counter it, one that makes it like this. In addition to this, you could also add blend shapes for moving your highlights to the left and to the right and to the up and to the down. If you wanted to do kind of like a physics that triggered when you keep looking at different directions. Anyway, you can add as many shape keys as you want. If you have multiple layers of highlights, then you will obviously want movement for those as well. Now make sure that you also create blend shape clip for every single shape key that we showed here right now. And uh, once you have your model with all the blend shape clips, we can go to Vinyan and get started with the pendulum physics. Okay, now that you have Vinyan up and running and you have your tracking connected, you may notice that there is a new button in Vinyan called Pendulum Chains. If you click this one, it will open a new dialog where you will be able to create new pendulum chains to use. So if you wanted to create the usual eye jiggle when blinking eyes. We could start by, for example, creating a pendulum chain of four links. So let's select four and click add chain. This dialog that opens up shows first of all the name of the pendulum. Let's just call it blink jiggle. The next field you see are input values and then output values. The input values basically can take either a parameter value or a blend shape value. And that is what will be moving the first node of the pendulum. If you're new to pendulums, but you know about 3D tubing, then they're very similar to how VRM spring bones work. So basically you have a root node and when the root node moves around, the rest kind of flows around as well. If you have been using Live 2D, then you probably already recognize this feature because it is very similar to that. Okay, so if we wanted to add the jiggle to trigger on our 
Blink. We would need to add an input that is using our Blink. Now, since we're using a normal kind of tracking, so no AR kit tracking, the blend shape we use here is Blink L or Blink R. Let's read the right eyes Blink as an input to this one. Now, you can of course look into your monitor and see what values get triggered when you blink your eyes. And as you can see here, it's this blink L and blink R. If you're using AR kit, they will be called something else. Before anything starts to happen, we will also need to enter a multiplier. So usually it's a good idea to start with number one and then see if it's too much, then decrease it. So we'll enter one there. Now, as we blink our eyes, you see the pendulum move around and all the adornments follow. I think this will be good while you start with. Of course, depending on what kind of effect you're building, you can also adjust the physics settings. There is damping, elasticity, stiffness and inert that you can adjust around to make the chain perform in a very different way. And the next thing is to create the output. Now these outputs will allow us to read a value from a specific bone to, again, either to blend shapes or a parameter. And the value that will be read is the difference between the bone's position and the root bone. So let's click Add. And uh, we'll start by using some of those shape keys that we created earlier. As you can see, the outputs have blend shape and negative blend shape. This means that when you're using a blend shape, you will need actually two blend shapes. So what blend shape will be used depends on whether the bone is on the positive side or the negative side. If it is on the positive side, then the blend shape value will go on this blend shape. If it's on the negative side, then this one will get a value instead. And the other side will always stay at zero in that case. So let's start by adding some eye wobble. So we're going to link this to the bone number three. So this is going to be this bone here. And let's, uh, let's add just the shape key that makes our eye wobble like uh, either get taller or shorter. So we had a shape key called I write tall, and then we had a shape key called I write short. And we also need to add the multiplier here Make sure it's one or something else. And now, as you can see, when we blink, our eye is wobbling already. Now, by adjusting the multiplier, you can adjust how much it will be wobbling around. So if you want it to be way too much, you can set it to 100 or 10 or something. You can set it to lesser if you want it to wobble less. But remember that you can also adjust the physics settings. So let's leave that at something like 0 0.7. Okay, now we had other shape keys obviously there, so let's click on plus and this time let's add a different bone. Let's use the last bone, so we have some variation here. And we're going to use the I write thick and I write thin blend shapes this time. And let's set the multiplier to 1. Now as you can see the eye is now also wobbling sideways a little bit. Now we also did have some highlight movements on this model. So we could link them to, let's say, the bone number three as well. So let's put here high right out and high right in and multiplier to one. Now, as you can see, the highlight is now also wobbling in and out a little bit. Now, the multiplier can also be negative if you want to flip the value around. So now it's jiggling a bit differently. So feel free to play around with these values as much as you want. And you can also adjust the physics values for this. So now we have covered the actual like blink movement. But you can also react to the actual look direction. And we could cover that next. So the latest version of Vinyan added a couple built-in parameters that you can see down here. They start with the underscore. We have the eye bone left rotation, eye bone right rotation for both of the axes. And this will keep updated at live. So you will be able 
to utilize this values, this parameter values in pendulum chains. If you need to react to any other bones, let's say you wanted to create some kind of arm movement or something when you move around, those can be done using the node graph. If you're interested in that, feel free to drop a message in the comments. I can cover them in a different tutorial. So let's make something that allows us to look around. So we would be using the eye bone right rotation Y most likely. Yes, that seems to be moving the sideways. So we're going to again add a chain. For this one, let's add just three bones. So add chain, let's call it I movement Y, or we could actually call it X because we are moving along the X axis, but we'll be using the Y rotation. So to the input values, click plus, and this time to the type, we are going to select parameter. And then we will use the parameter name that was specified earlier. So I bone right rot Y. So let's type that there. So start with the underscore and multiplier, let's set that to one. Now, as you can see, it moves a bit too much at the moment. So we can make this much smaller. Let's sell it, it to 0 0.2. And even this might be a little bit too much. So let's decrease it to 0 0.15. Okay, this is much better now. And now we can link that to the shape keys that we have here for moving the highlights sideways. This we did not cover at the start of the video, so you will have to add those as well if you want to use them. So we have a high right move out and high right move in. So let's click plus and add those to the bone number three. And multiplier we can set to one to test it out. You can see a slight movement there. We could increase this to make it more obvious. Now, as you can see, as we look to the sides, the highlight is jiggling. Now, of course, feel free to play around with the uh, values as much as you want. Once you're done with setting all these, you can also export the chains if you want to share them with other people. You can also import chains if you get a model from an artist, for example, who has prepared the chains for you, then simply click the import chain and that will add a new chain to the list. It's also a good idea to export the chains every now and then to make backups. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And remember that it will indeed take a while to get those physical properties correct for your pendulums. But you can achieve so many different effects with them. So just play around and see what you can achieve. I would also love to see all the results you guys come up with. And as always, if you run into any questions, we have a huge Discord already where we have this big channel dedicated for Vinyan. Make sure to join it if you run into any questions or if you want to share any assets or tutorials with the other people in the community. The description contains the link. Anyway, if you want to stay up to date with my tutorials, make sure to subscribe and smash the bell button and so on. Anyway, see you next time, QDs. Bye bye.